Hey everybody, me and man123 here, and today we're doing my Cartoon Network VHS collection. Now, uh, this isn't as huge as my Nickelodeon DVD and VHS collection as you saw in the other video I made. Uh, you know, I haven't really collected that much Cartoon Network stuff for some reason, I don't know why. I don't have anything against Cartoon Network or anything, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess uh, let's let's get into it. And I guess like we did with the last video, let's look at the biggest DVD in this entire thing. The Powerpuff Girls 10th Anniversary Collection. Also the complete series. It is the complete series, you can see. We through five, six. The set is really, really great. It has a lot of cool work. Okay, okay, they're falling down. Uh okay, yeah, I'll hold it like that. It has a cool ton of cool like bonus features and stuff you can see it has like a lot of promos on there the original like whoop ass girls pilot is on here the christmas special this is a ton of stuff and it's really awesome the only downside to this the literal only downside everything else is really great the only downside if i can get it out to show you uh the discs are all double-sided You know, so you flip, you have this disc with those episodes on it, and then you flip it to get other episodes. Now, this might not be a problem, but these can get way scratched, like, easily. And usually it's not a problem if it's a movie, because usually it's, like, widescreen or full screen or whatever, you know. But this, it's, like, episodes are on the both sides. So you got to be really careful not to scratch these. And I have scratched these before, and it's, it sucks, but, you know, they still they still play, so they're fine. Uh, this, also, this set is also kind of expensive now. I think there are other ones in different regions, but this is the Region 1 lease. These are all Region 1 DVDs that I have, except they're in America. But, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, like, Australia has a better release, because I know they get better CN releases than we do, but... Yeah, there's the powerful girls right there. So, next one we have is, is this one, the first season of Steven Universe. I have not watched much Steven Universe. I'm gonna be honest, I have not watched every episode on here. I I, I don't know. I I heard about it, so I found this for cheap. I was like, okay, maybe I'll watch it. You know, and I still haven't watched it. But yeah, this DVD isn't that good. Um. It's, it just seems like really cheap. Like just like everything looks really cheap about it. Yeah, you can see the, the artwork on it, you know? I hate when they do that. <laughs> cause, then, Cause then I have to keep this on. I don't wanna keep that on. Looks stupid. But yeah, um, I mean the art kinda looks fine, I guess. The menus are like the most bland thing ever. There's like, what there's like no bonus features like look at that look at those bonus features and then like this has like a ton of stuff so it's just like he went down and this is recent too this is like 2018 this came out so like come on one whole video or cartoon network like you have to have more stuff i mean steven universe is like one of the most like acclaimed shows from cartoon network as far as i know it's one of the, yeah, a lot of people really like this show. You know, you, they don't have, like, any cool stuff. They don't have any promos or anything, you know, that we haven't seen in a while or something. I don't know how that works. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess it's a cool release of your fantasy universe, but I'm, I haven't seen it. So, probably not for me, but, you know, yeah. Then we have Ed and Eddie Volume 1 right here check out other google so i didn't pay much at all for it you can see the episode on there it has six episodes not a complete release but it's fine also kind of scratched yeah and then this one this one technically isn't a cartoon network dvd but i include it anyways because this is the version of coolest revenge that aired on cartoon network it's the same one that 
Well, I think it's a little different. I don't know, but this is the censored one. The dub with all the, the metal music in it. From, like, Drowning Pool and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, this movie's fine. I think it's a good movie, but, you know, this... Did that just break? Oh, I thought they just... I thought the thing just broke and I was freaking out, but no. Yeah. Also got this from Google a few years ago, so... Yeah. It's, it's fine. And then we move on to the VHS tapes. Here's the first one. Screening copy, as you can see. So I bet you're wondering what this is. Well... This is actually Dexter's Laboratory Ego Trip, the or Ego Trip, the movie. So there was a Dexter's Laboratory movie that came out in 2000, I'm pretty sure. And it only released on VHS and I think on video CD. And then like way later they put it on DVD in uh, some obscure box set that only Australia got. But we only in America got the VHS, so I think I found this, I found this in like a case at a thrift store with, and it had a Powerpuff Girls artwork on it. But it it was a screen copy, so I didn't know what it was until I put it in. But yeah, it's Ego Trip. It's nice. I really like that movie. Great movie. But yeah, then we have the actual Powerpuff Girls tape I got from the same store, which is Bubble Vicious, as you can see right here. I don't know. If I didn't, I didn't know they had these in uh, slip covers. Maybe it's like a re-release or something from later, but <clears throat> you can see the episodes on there. 2000, yeah, so. Yep. We have Powerpuff Girls Dream Scheme, the first, the first ever um, Powerpuff Girls home video release I ever got. Also, the first way I ever watched the show, so that's something. Uh, yeah, this is a reprint cover because the one I had was wrong from the Goodwill thing that I got it. So, you know, I reprinted it. But yeah, I had that before the complete series. I think that I bought. The complete series after this but yeah and then the last tape you probably ever see it. another Dragon Ball Z tape that I had um, yeah <laughs> it counts as Cartoon Network down look at that blockbuster even though it's also the main tape but it is a Dragon Ball Z tape so I leave it and I can't find it online for that one so yeah, I'd have to look up what episodes are on that one. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Except for this, which I forgot in my Nickelodeon DVDs video. This is Invader Zen 1 and 2 from Media Blasters. Or Anime Works. But also Media Blasters. Same company. I'm trying to see if it says Media Blasters on it. It doesn't here though. Yeah, right there. Media Blasters. They also did some uh, other things. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we got this 3, this 4. I'm not the hugest fan of Invader Zim, I'm going to be honest. I watched it when I was, like, little, but after that I just kind of forgot about it. And then I got this online, or not online, I got it at a good one. Yeah. All these are from Goodwill. I don't want to take these from Goodwill. I mean, they're cheap, you know? So why not? But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this is like rare or anything, but I have it. I think the only other release of Vader Zim was through those uh, Burn on a Man discs, which aren't the highest quality. So, yeah, but, yeah, that's it for this video. So, uh, like and subscribe and all that and I'll see you in the next video